Hi, my name is Murthy. Today I am going to talk about how to create a basic strumming patterns. And this is for beginners to intermediate level kind of uh, students. And as I told you earlier in my uh, previous video, uh, one should develop this kind of uh, pendulum technique a lot to create your own rhythms. And today I am not at all discussing any much method way of uh, thinking and everything. Using the pendulum technique, I am going to explain how to create more rhythm stimulations actually. So one should develop uh, first of all a very clean hit with the pendulum technique this quarter notes so what are quarter notes basically if you if you're taking a 4-4 time signature as example time signature and each count is a quarter note basically so uh, if you if you're making the slit like so this is basically a quarter note strumming and if you observe, I'm hitting as even as possible and I'm moving my right hand here like a pendulum, right? This is very, very important. And you should not do something like, like that. And you should not get stuck your hand actually. You have to move very freely like this. So uh, once you are comfortable with this quarter note strumming, uh, then uh, you can uh, you can start practice the eighth note um, strumming pattern. Basically, eighth note means uh, between every single pulse, there will be another stroke that only we call as an end stroke. So now I'm I'm going to take a little lower tempo, like a one, two, three, four. In this quarter note, is something like one, two, three, four, like that, right? Between this every stroke, we have to hit another stroke. One and two and three and four and. So th these are what? End strokes. Basically, end strokes are upstrokes. So between one and two, there will be one stroke. That is an end. Between two and three also, there will be one stroke. That is also end stroke. So here, uh, to make it more simplified, uh, when you are strumming quarter note rhythm, your hand is uh, moving upwards very naturally right like one two three four basically your hand is recoiling for the next stroke this is nothing but an end stroke instead of just moving plane you have to hit the uh, upstroke basically so one two three four so like that but you must have to check yourself how even you are playing that it should not be like a like that or something it must have to be very even like and you no need to keep any progressions also you can just mute like that and play or you can check any you can take any simple chord and you can try to practice this and once you getting that evenness <coughs> you can create a um, lot of different uh, uh, patterns actually like for example uh, i don't like to play now one end part then two end part so i'll just want to play one two then three and end four and end i wanted to play so like one, two, three and four and so now I created a new rhythm, right? So basically like your hand moves very uh, like a very same pattern for every rhythm here. But you can choose what stroke you wanted to play and you have to be very, very careful uh, which number you are in, which number of count you are in. It should not be like just a randomly. Uh, just moving your hand you must have to know you are at a one or end wherever you are you have to know actually that so uh, uh, if, if you observe like my hand is moving like a similar one two for quarter notes also my hand is moving similarly for one and two and three and four and also and uh, if i'm creating a new rhythm like um, if, if i'm avoiding some end strokes like one two three and four and one two three and four and so my hand is moving like a very similar so here you can choose whatever strokes if you wanted to play you can play whatever strokes you wanted to emit you can emit basically so that's how we can create a different type of a rhythms and for beginners i will recommend this particular pendulum movement very very strongly and this can help you up to one level of rhythming actually uh, by your own 
um, for example you can here avoid numbers and you can only hit ends also now i like to play only one and all else strokes i want to play ends basically so how it sounds so one and 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 one and and if i'm keeping that any any progression like right see you can create like this different rhythm patterns basically here like you can create uh, using this two bar rhythm also basically two bar rhythm means one bar you can choose one rhythm another bar you can uh, make a different rhythm and you can uh, make that as a pattern and you can repeat for example uh, i'll take the same rhythm right now what i played like one and 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 the next uh, rhythm i like to play one and and four and just small modification i've done just fourth count i'm playing so uh, it's like basically if i'm making together one and 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 one and and four and so now i'll try to put in some rhythm like So you can create like that different types of rhythms and this is just eighth note rhythm patterns only so you can you can classify more detail like uh, 16th note rhythms we can make that and all in my further videos I'll try to explain so but here try to try to understand some basic elements one is you have to habituate the pendulum technique second thing uh, you have to check yourself whether your uh, your eighth note pattern is very even or not so first of all you must have to practice the quarter notes very finely then in the similar in the same tempo you can try eighth notes like one two three four and you can try once you are comfortable once your hand is moving with ease you can create a lot of rhythms like that and um, um, you can even move to the further level rhythms also and it looks uh, it looks like a simple right when when I'm explaining but uh, it may take time for you um, so one must have to have a patience when practicing uh, don't think like it can happen just like that so you sit uh, many hours like you, it can take a lot of time and try to get a very clean strokes definitely you can achieve that spend a good time basically on that so this is this is for today so please like share and subscribe my channel and it can be motivated for me to do more videos. Thank you.